Good morning, everybody. I'm reading 2 Corinthians 1 verse 6 in the NLT version. Even when we are weighed down with troubles, it is for your comfort and salvation. For when we ourselves are comforted, we will certainly comfort you. Then you can patiently endure the same things we suffer. In this letter to the Corinthians, Paul speaks much about the ministry. For example, he says in chapter 3, The Lord has made us sufficient as ministers of the new covenant. And in chapter 4, And since we have received this ministry, we do not lose heart. As followers of the Lord, we are all called to ministry, to the service of the Lord at one level or another. As such, the Lord will allow us to pass through some experiences, not for our own sakes, but for the sake of others. As Paul put it, even when we are weighed down with troubles, it is for your comfort and salvation. We may experience stress, grief, anguish, fears, which might sorely try us, so that we understand what some of those to whom we are ministering are going through. The Lord himself suffered much when he was in this world. He understands. He knows how to comfort those who are passing through trials. And if we are ministers of the Lord, as we pass through various difficulties, it's no use us whinging and whining and complaining. Instead, we must receive his grace and comfort. Then we will be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. That's verse 4 of this chapter 1. Knowing that the love of God was shed abroad in Paul's heart, he loved people. Perhaps it's no wonder that he exclaims in Romans 5.3 that he glories in tribulation. In this fallen world, it is, it is as we pass through tribulation in triumph that we become so much more useful to the Lord and able to minister to others. This is a great challenge. May we be willing for the Lord to make us able ministers of the new covenant. Amen. Have a great day.